Cost Cuisine, where I eat my way through Costco for you. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Costco Kirkland Signature Pepperoni Pizza as well as the Kirkland Signature Cheese Pizza. You can find both of these pizzas in the freezer section at Costco and both of the boxes come with four pizzas. I paid $16.99 Canadian for the pepperoni pizza and I paid $12.99 Canadian for the cheese pizza. The best before date on my pizzas is about five months from the date that I purchased them, so you can keep them in your freezer for quite a while. They're great to have around for when you need a quick and easy dinner. To cook the pepperoni pizza in the oven, you preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. You place your pizza directly on the oven rack and you cook it for about 12 to 15 minutes. For the cheese pizza, you will preheat your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, place it directly on the oven rack and cook it for about 10 to 12 minutes. Here are my frozen Kirkland Signature pizzas. And it's kind of hard to see, but the cheese pizza is actually smaller than the pepperoni pizza, as well as the boxes. The box of cheese pizza is smaller than the pepperoni. So you're getting a little bit of a smaller pizza if you're buying the cheese variety. I'm going to cook my pizza separately due to the different cook times and temperatures. So I'll cook the pepperoni first and then I'll cook the cheese. Hopefully the pepperoni doesn't cool off too much. I'll show you the cooked pizzas and then I will bring them back to take a taste. Now I'm going to put my pizza in the oven. The pizza needs to go directly on the rack, the middle rack, so I'm going to do that. And also I put a cookie sheet on the bottom rack of my oven because then if anything spills or drips off the pizza, it catches it and it doesn't end up on the bottom of my oven. I've baked my pizza for 14 minutes. The cooking instruction said 12 to 15. I usually like my pizza pretty golden brown and crispy, so that's why I chose 14 minutes. Now I'm gonna take it out and show you what it looks like. So here is my finished Costco Kirkland Signature Pepperoni Pizza. I've set my pepperoni pizza off to the side and I've turned up my oven to 450 degrees to cook my cheese pizza, so now I'm gonna pop it in the oven. I've now cooked my cheese pizza at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 11 minutes and it's time to take it out and I'll give you a little peek of what it looks like. So this is my Kirkland Signature Cheese Pizza. Now I'm going to taste my Costco Kirkland Signature frozen pizzas that I just baked. I'm gonna try the pepperoni first, then I'll try the cheese. I did take a taste in the kitchen while I was waiting for the cheese pizza to bake, um, but I'll take another taste and let you know what I think of it. It's really good for a frozen pepperoni pizza. The sauce is nice and tangy. Um, the crust on the bottom is nice and crisp, as well as really chewy. Uh, the edge of the crust is also quite crisp. The pepperoni is a little bit salty, a little bit spicy, but overall like a mild pepperoni flavor, not too spicy or too strongly flavored. Uh, there's not a ton of cheese on the pizza, but the cheese that is there is really good. Overall, very flavorful, delicious for a frozen pepperoni pizza. I like it. Next up is the cheese pizza. So here we go. It 
tastes a lot lighter than the pepperoni pizza. The crust almost tastes lighter too, but that might just be, be because there's no meat on it. There's not a ton of cheese on it for being a cheese pizza. I would probably want to like add my own extra cheese just because I really like cheese on pizza. But the cheese that's there is really good. Um, the sauce tastes a little bit sweeter to me than the pepperoni pizza, but it's really, really delicious and flavorful. The edge of the crisp of the crust is nice and crisp as well as the bottom of the crust is also really nice and crisp, but it still has that chewiness and softness too. So it's not like a really hard crust. I would probably doctor up the cheese pizza by adding like some vegetables, some maybe some, you know, salami or ham that I have in my fridge if I have any, as well as I might even add a little bit of extra cheese. But this is a really good base pizza. And I think kids would really like it too. Now I'm gonna talk about the nutrition information for the pepperoni pizza. In one third of the pizza, there's 470 calories, 20 grams of fat, 47 grams of carbohydrates, two grams of fiber, five grams of sugar, 26 grams of protein, which is pretty good, and 55 milligrams of cholesterol, and a whopping 1,080 milligrams of sodium. In one third of the Costco Kirkland Signature frozen cheese pizza, there's 390 calories, 12 grams of fat, 52 grams of carbohydrates, three grams of fiber, 19 grams of protein, 12 grams of sugar, and 770 milligrams of sodium. Just to give you an idea of what one third of a pizza looks like, we cut our pizza into eight, and this is what two slices look like. So they're not very big slices at all. Um, so one third would be a little bit more than two slices. I could easily eat probably like four slices and my husband could easily eat a whole pizza. So if you're looking at a lot of calories, a lot of sodium and a lot of fat. I looked at the ingredients list for both the pepperoni pizza and the cheese pizza and they're pretty typical for what you'd expect to find in a frozen grocery store pizza, a pizza from a takeout restaurant or one that you would make from scratch at home. The Kirkland Signature pepperoni and cheese pizzas are pretty good for a frozen grocery store bought pizza. They're obviously not as good as one you would get from a takeout restaurant or one that you would make from scratch at home, but they are pretty tasty and most of all they're convenient. I would say give them a try. That's it for my review of the Costco Kirkland Signature pepperoni and cheese pizzas. If you like this review, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you'd like to see more Costco food reviews, visit my blog, costcuisine.com. You can find me on social media by searching Cost Cuisine on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned as I keep eating my way through Costco for you.